welcome and dasin ahmad ma as i am odd number my topic is the free constant the free constant is the uh, the was the concept of what constant is the on the same thing same person got the contract for agree with it for example i offered for korim to buy this book 2000 taka korim agrees with that with my offer which is a constant and what's the element the first element is the cohesion Coercion is the uh, forcing for the uh, criminal in nature for through something blackmail. For example, I said go to do that concern, or otherwise I will, uh, I will kidnap your uh, son. That is a totally unethical, uh, illegal. This is the coercion, and I can physical force or something. The second point is the undue influence. Undue influence is the. Uh, an uh, indirect psychological pressure for example i have a i am a faculty and i have a student like nobody i know i told nobody to buy this book 2000 tak i nobody said sir i don't need it i already have them i i then i told the nobody okay you don't buy the book how can you will the exam i do not i do nothing but nobody got a psychological pressure because i have a power i have dominant person in the uh, in the other sense in the with the doctor doctor a patient doctor get advantage of it because he has the power and other hand the, uh, the a person enters to an agreement with the uh, uh, mental capacity temporarily we cannot do the concert because when the old person we can offer him to buy a land for 5 lakh taka he can buy it but uh, he cannot know the current situation but current situation the um, land is in, if the, after 20 years the 5 lakh Five lakh land maybe got the fifteen lakh, which is not totally unethical. In the other topic is the burden of proof, which is the related to the un undue influence. Burden of proof is something like that. When the I go to the uh, uh, offer to the I go to the uh, law uh, to the uh, victim must prove the, to the key that he is uh, innocent, because. As, uh, in the court they just see that they have a dominant person they had a miss under missed uh, advantage of it so that's why the, the main psychologist they might uh, may got misuse the position that's why they have to prove themselves that he is the innocent person when i uh, lawsuit to the dean the plaintiff must to do that the third point is the fraud for something the lying for cheating uh, i have the intention to do that for example, I have a business, I have an export import business, I have imports the product and sell them. I have a business place to uh, told everyone to the customer that I have a um, uh this product is the foreign product, but actually this product is the local product. I can five thousand product, five thousand product. I just sell them twenty thousand taka, and customer uh, and, and customer can buy it. And I have the intention to do that, which is the fraud. The another point is the silence amounting of fraud. Silence amount of fraud is that, and when I have a jewelry shop and a customer came in and buy to the this is a gold or not, I cannot say for nothing. But after that, after the buy, discover this is not a gold. So this is also a fraud then the next point is the misrepresentation misrepresentation this is the likely the fraud but not likely the to the fraud because the main difference between it i have not intention to do that for the same example i can i told before that i have a business for the export import business i told everyone that this is a foreign product but actually this is a local product but i have i even i don't know because uh, I have an honest, honest uh, uh, opinion to sell this product, but I I don't know this is actually the uh, foreign, not a foreign product. This four is totally the void, uh, devoidable, and the last topic is the mistake. In the mistake, what is it that when the two parties misunderstand? Uh, for example, the Korean um, wants to buy the pledge for 24 players and I can sell them but uh, to, uh, I can sell them for function for to one time use plate but he actually want the ceramic plate that's a misunderstand between me and Cody which is total which is the void not voidable this is the basic difference between mistake and another four elements another thing is um, I must have to know the domestic law of it and um, I, this is not a me I have must to know uh, domestic law because I as a citizen I have to know every law and for example uh, in uh, for riding a bike I must know for wearing a helmet because if the police saw it he can uh, um, uh, take some money for suspend it because I cannot tell the police because I don't know the law because I, in, it is my responsibility to know the law and the last thing is that two parties is must know the foreign mistake of the foreign law what is it uh, for example I have a uh, 
do a partnership business with the Kareem and I I told I uh, we can uh, bring some product for the foreign market and we can bring the product for five percent tax. But now, oh, uh, uh, in maybe we can buy the product for the USA for five percent tax. But after now, this product goes to the fifteen percent tax. And we actually don't know the law. After we can say that okay, we don't want to buy it because if we buy it, that uh, price is goes increase. That is we actually don't know this is okay because after five percent the go use the government fees the tax for fifteen percent tax which is the another type of mistake so this is all my presentation uh, thank you very much i am the signing off thank you